Hey, hey, everybody, it's Overkill here with the premiere of the Kingdom of Mercy, a campaign for Age of Charlemagne. So, this is the official one. This is going to be the final Age of Charlemagne campaign because I have no interest in the Lombards or Westphalia, and I don't really want to play Charlemagne. So, this is going to be the final Age of Charlemagne campaign on the channel. Um, I know I said that for Asturias, but. Uh, as you, some of you may know, the Avars campaign didn't really fall through, so I'm here today with this. So we will be f falling back to the old games, um, and well, depending on whenever these series are over, also Warhammer. <laughs> so um, yes, so today, Kingdom of Mercia. So our faction leader is Offa, there's this nice gentleman here, we are Christian. Uh, here's a description of Mercia here. Uh, our faction traits are spoils, are, well, is spoils of war. We have the Emancipator's trait, which is double unit replenishment when taking on defeated troops post battle, which is excellent, and extra income for every enemy unit destroyed. So that's good as well. So we'll be playing this on hard today, and yeah, same as every faction. It's five, seven, seven hundred and ten settlements, and yeah, everything should be good. So let's go right ahead into the campaign. So if you guys are happy about this campaign, please be sure to leave your support by uh, or. Show me your support by leaving a comment and a like down below, of course. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you stick around, like what you see, subscribe, all that good stuff, because that helps me and will help me in the future. The Anglo-Saxon lands fall submissive to your rule. The Mercian kingdom dominates, yet the island is not yet fully conquered. To the southwest, Wessex lingers, weak but undefeated, and to the west... The pernicious Welsh remain a thorn. Subjugating both will secure your borders, yet Northumbria poses your greatest threat. It threatens to overthrow the Picts and become a powerful enemy. The only answer is its absorption into your own realm. Across the waves, Ireland offers promising territory, but should be approached with caution. Its people are unruly, and more than a little dangerous. And to the east, vicious men seeking blood and plunder cast voracious eyes upon your shores. Be ever vigilant of the Viking Danes. Despite these challenges, control of the Isles shall be yours. Take up your sword and make mercy a great. Indeed, we shall, creepy old hooded man. We shall make Mercia great. So, as you can see, a broken world reach Imperium level 3, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we start off at war with uh, the Kingdom of Powys, Powys, I don't know, and the Kingdom of Gwynedd. Um, so we will act quickly um, to march, of course. So we will be losing Chester, or at least Chester will be sacked, possibly. Uh, what is the garrison like? It is terrible. So, basically what we need to do is... We are going to have to occupy Lichfield, start building our forces. So you can see that Mercia actually has access to some very good units right from the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and get some swordsmen and cavalry, and maybe even an extra unit of speared, uh, spearmen. And yeah, let's just take a look at what we have. Um, go away. So Kent is our uh, tributary state, or clients. How are they? Uh, your tributary, yes. Uh, so they're our tributary. We won't have to deal. We won't have to worry about them for a while. Um, they do hate us, so they will probably break. Try to break off eventually, but uh, hopefully we can finish. Hopefully we can finish off um, the Welsh before that. Um, see, I would like to trade with Wessex, but no. You know what? We we won't even bother with Wessex yet. All right. Let's see. What are we gonna go for? Let's get public order first. Let's make sure everybody's happy. What are what are our objectives? Hold two settlements, including the following. All right, we'll definitely do that. Maintain 40 units, we can do that. Construct ministers, whoops. Uh, we could do that. 5,000 talents, we could try. And research Witten. Interesting, where's Witten? Witten, here we go. Right. Uh, how's the... That's good. That's excellent. Let's definitely get to work on that. Uh, so we only own Mercia, of course. 
Um, actually, no, we do own a bit of Wessex as well. So, uh, I believe what we're going to do is we may... Hmm, I could actually upgrade that to get even better units. Hmm. We shall hold off. Actually, no, we will do it. We will do it. All right. So if they if they don't, um, if they don't build any troops this turn, uh, we'll be able to invade. An army of eleven should be fine enough. Oh yes, of course we need to go through all this, don't we? Um, this man is not married. We will definitely try to seek a wife. And of course we will attempt to get all these guys here. So you're a statesman. Um, we'll give him the Royal Companion spot. Um, there, there, there. I want to give him the loyalty of being a Royal Companion, uh, just so he won't attempt to betray me, basically. And of course, yes, we need to set a governor. Um, so of course we'll put someone in Mercia. Hey, we could even put our, uh, our heir there. Or actually, no. Rather, we'll put someone else. Um... He just has cunning unit experience for recruits. Cunning as well. All right. Well, do you have something that's good then? Of course. So our son will be the governor of Mercia then. All right. And we'll uh, we will of course put this up. All right. And the turn. So a decent start. Um, of course, Gwynedd is going to attack Chester. Probably sack it. They may take it. If they take it, that wouldn't be amazing. Oh, they've actually went through with their turn. Never mind. Oh, but Powies is going to take it. Okay. Um, I was going to say we could attempt to hold them off, but no. Let's just let's just let them have their fun. Interesting that Gwynedd would attack it, not Pow or uh, that Powies would attack it, not Gwynedd. Rather, very interesting. Are they going to take it? No, they sacked it. All right. So. That tells me, though, that their army is not as strong as it could be. Now, we have the mission to become the Kingdom of England, uh, own the provinces of Wessex, Mercia, and Northumbria. Basically, we have to take out Wessex and Northumbria, um, but then we become the King of England, or the Kingdom of England, rather, and we get all this great morale, loyalty, and public order stuff. Uh, we'll take it off him, take it off him, there we go. But yes, as I was saying, we can now see that that army is not as strong as it could be, so... What we're going to do is, is we're going to march into their territory. But how much do they own? That's my question. Um, so, of course, we'll march here. We'll check out what they have. They have five units helping them. So, five plus eight is, of course, 13. We have 11. Now, they don't have any cavalry. Oh, yes, they do. They have some horsemen. Never mind then. Um, but you can see that most of their units would be levies and uh, some skirmisher units. They don't have much in the form of infantry, so I believe what we're going to do is we're going to march on them. They'll probably run away or run into uh, or Mathafal, however it's pronounced. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start working on a second army as well. Because we can, why not? We're going to go ahead and get this guy, because he has extra replenishment. And yes, we're going to go ahead and start building his army. Alright, we can only get those units, so let's work on infantry then. Uh, I'm going to leave Chester in its current state, um, because, well, I can't really afford to fix it really right now. Is there anybody we can trade with that uh, doesn't really hate me? No, they don't want it. I don't want to become friends with Northumbria. I mean, we can trade with Wessex, obviously. Oh, fine. We have need of talk. Oh, they actually don't even want it. Well, screw you guys then. Uh, let's end the turn. Your lands will soon be mine anyway. But yes, if you're wondering why I decided to start this campaign, it's basically because, well... <clears throat> um, Italy is overcrowded. That's why... Oh, hello. Excellent. We shall have our fight. Alright, but uh, Italy is overcrowded due to the fact that I've reached it in the Cordoba and Avar's campaign. 
Um, Europe in general is just boring right now uh, because of the fact that it's just fighting Charlemagne, basically. So I didn't want to do Charlemagne because, well, that's all it would be is literally just pushing out from his lands. Um, and, of course, I have taken England in the Danes campaign, the former Danes campaign. So um, mm, it is like I can understand why people would wonder like why I'm why I'm playing this one. But I thought, why not? It, it's somewhere that it's a campaign that I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, why not? So that's pretty much it. Uh, we should be able to easily win this, in all honesty. Um, we are defending, so they have to come to us, of course. And uh, I believe that we will be better. Uh, these are just... Oh, we're using Feared, of, uh, feared, of course, so... Well, that's armored. Well, I don't want to look at that. Alright, let's see... Oh, they actually have better, uh, better charge, less morale. Actually, no, we have less morale. We have more defense, though. Interesting. Very interesting. So they're shifting over. They're waiting for the reinforcements. Correct. I could attempt to run some cavalry over here. Although, no, they wouldn't reach them in time. All right, so let's just wait for them. We shall just wait. Form the shield wall, men. Uh, get rid of that. We'll look at our wonderful English soldiers and their nice shield wall. Beautiful. All right, so we're waiting for everybody to link together. They have slightly more men than me. But I believe we shall be fine. So we have, of course, Afa, our king, with his royal companions. Oh, they're actually a melee infantry. All right, so we'll get him over here then. He will f help in the fighting. I thought I, I was wrong in the fact that I thought that he was actually in uh, a cavalry unit, but he's not. They do not have horses um, as, a, as a general's unit, apparently, for the English. Whoops. I was not aware of that. Pretty much like every faction has cavalry, except for Mercia, it seems. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. So what do we have here? Tulu. Telu. Telulu. I don't know. Uh, that's the enemy general. He's very heavy melee cavalry. <coughs> Very interesting. So we'll probably get my archers to focus on him uh, with flaming shot. And of course, once everybody engages, we will send in the rest of our men. But yes, that's the thing. They don't have that much infantry. Um, they have one unit extra than me. Or one unit more, rather. Um, but we have more cavalry. Well, they have the same amount, but let's just say I have more cavalry not counting their general. And, uh, yeah, they have a big skirmish advantage, though. But in all, ho in, in hopes, in hopes, what am I saying? Um, in saying that, with my cavalry, I should be able to take them out without them winning the battle, pretty much. All right, so soon enough, we'll be able to start firing. Of course, our men are going to be taking some shots. Um, this does give a missile block chance, so uh, we won't lose so many men. But, uh, of course, we will still lose men to say the least. Alright, so we're just going to keep speeding this up, waiting for everybody to get into the fight. And there we go. Alright. Now, it's good that uh, this is actually happening. So their, caval their, uh, their cavalry, their archers are going to be left behind. Um, like, behind their infantry, so it should be safe for me to actually engage with them. Now, of course, their general is going to give me a spot of trouble. But... I should be able to scare off the enemy here. So, in high hopes, we should be okay. So I'm going to get my two archer units to start firing at their javelin men. And yeah, these guys are going to move over here and start scaring these archers away. So you can see that this unit that uh, was being targeted um, by the javelins is getting absolutely pummeled. So I'm actually going to get these guys... Actually, no, they have a bunch more infantry coming in yet. Alright, they shall hold their ground. These guys shall charge in here. I'll start freaking them out. So you can see now that I am scaring off their archers, which is good. Keep them moving. I'm actually going to get these guys to charge in at, at these javelin men. Oh, our general is under attack. Alright, so they have engaged their spears, so let's get these guys going. Actually, let's get rid of these horsemen. 
Oh, we've been charged by the enemy. That's not good. But it is distracting him, so... Alright. So we are breaking their infantry, which is good. There we go, we've broken their their cavalry there. So we're going to go ahead and try to kill some of these archers with our horsemen. There we go. Alright, it's going good. Our general is charging in. You can see he's charging right down the hill. There we go. So we're, we may lose this cavalry unit to the enemy general. But I think we'll be okay. So I believe it was worth it. Oh, my archers have run into the fight, I just realized. That was quite dumb. Yeah, my cavalry there got a little messed up. But we should be fine. The problem is, I've said this in all my campaigns, but the 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 um, the range units in Age of Charlemagne are are kind of not overpowered. Obviously, that wouldn't make any sense for a campaign, but um, they are a little ridiculous. Um, because, of course, everybody's been giving the same amount of health and defense, really, in Age of Charlemagne to make everything more, not really realistic, I suppose, but, like, not so gamey for cavalry to win. Um, so you can see I'm not killing these guys at all. Um, and then these guys are able to just shoot into the combat and screw me over. So it is quite a nuisance, uh, especially considering that they're basically ignoring the fact that I'm running right at them. But, uh, all right. But, yes, yeah, so you can see that we have won. The, the day is ours, to say the least. Oh, look at these guys charging in. But, yes, the day is ours. Um, somehow, my guys are wavering, for whatever reason, against cavalry, even though they have spears. Uh, very interesting that that's happening. That's actually quite confusing. And, yeah, these guys are just happily firing away. Yeah, look at this. They're kicking my ass. That's interesting. That's very interesting that they I lost that. All right. And yeah, you can see these guys aren't killing anything at all. And now I'm probably going to lose those cavalry as well. Oh, what an annoyance. But that's what Age of Charlemagne does to Attila. Um, I guess I'd rather them do this than be overpowered. I don't know. Either way. We'll engage our general into theirs. There we go. We've actually broken them. There we go. All right, we managed to catch the enemy general with our infantry, so we should be able to kill them. Uh, let's get these guys chasing after them. There we go. The battle's turning in our favor. Excellent. So the kingdom of what? Powers? Gwynedd? Powers, I believe. Uh, the army for them has been destroyed. So we can then turn our attention on their settlement and hopefully take it. So we are building that second army as well, of course. So we'll be able to attack Powys later. Or Gwynedd. I'm always going to mess them up. Sorry. But uh, yeah, so basically I'm just going to continue to chase down some of these guys. Uh, so we'll just get this infantry unit down to... Or this ranged unit down to basically a size where they'd probably be destroyed. Uh, let's pause it so I can actually see what they're at. 12. That should be good enough. Even if it's not destroyed, I mean, whatever. And, yeah, whatever. That should be fine. Decisive victory. That's good. So we lost 354 to their 1226. Um, of course, this army will survive because quite a few of them did make it out of there. But I believe we are okay. Afa has gained his first real victory. That's good. Yes, that army did survive, but um, only with a few units. So there we go. We'll get our replenishment. We'll put that to work. And, of course, we got money for killing those units, so there's that as well. Um, so we are going to get rid of them because, well, we can. So there they go. Hopefully we didn't lose that many men. 19. Good. And, yeah, Afa and his army have uh, ranked up. So we'll go ahead and get uh, some cheaper, cheaper units. That's what I always really go for um, when, when uh, first leveling up an army. And here we go. We can actually take out... Um, the pow is. So that's good. This place has been taken in the name of England. So we're gonna get that back. Ah, we're gonna get back that unit of cavalry that we lost. Uh, we're gonna acquire some new swords, some new spears, and that's everything. All right. So we're gonna continue building this army as well. Get some archers and some horsemen. And you can see now that we're actually losing food. 
which isn't good. Um, of course, we are upgrading my farm. And if need be, next turn I can make a new one here. Um, but yeah, we need to repair this as well. That's what we need to do. Uh, so you're going to be there doing that. Now, as you can see, Gwynedd is building a force. Um, next turn, they're probably going to have a bigger army than me. So um, we'll have to get these two armies working together next turn. But as for now, we will end... Oh, we actually, no, we can uh, get a new governor. Excellent. So we will make you the governor of Wales. Why not? And you will get to work with growth and construction rate, or construction costs and all that good stuff. Yes, that Gwynedd army is probably going to attack Chester before the before long. There we go. Like clockwork. There they are. So we'll do the same thing as before. We'll auto-resolve. And uh, hopefully they don't take it. If they sack it, it's not going to be a big deal because the buildings were already damaged. But, uh... Yeah, you can see it's much of the same. They got a lot more horsemen now, apparently. Ah, oh, they did take it. Damn. But now I can siege them out, so... Maybe that will actually work in our favor. My war weariness has gone up. We've just been destroyed by famine, basically. Which isn't good. We're going to take attrition there. Oh, that actually helps. Hmm. But yeah, you can see that it's not, it's not a good situation right now. Not good at all. Not good at all. So we will be trying, or at least attempting, to um, siege them out. Uh, my men aren't going to be able to reinforce just yet, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm actually going to get this army to march here then, and they're going to get some new units. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Uh, oh, th those old, those old voices. Delicious duty to the tribe. Oh boy. All right, so we're we're in a bit of a pickle here. Once we take out uh, this army, though, or take out, well, take back Chester. Uh, everything will be okay, but for now we're going to be taking some serious attrition, and that is not good. Not in this situation. Alright, so Gwynedd is coming out to fight me. Now, the real question is, do I want to fight this? Um, what are they being reinforced by? Just their, their garrison. Alright. Um, I have the infantry advantage. I definitely don't have a cavalry advantage, and they have a missile advantage. Um... I believe we can. They don't have any javelins, so they're not going to be killing me super quickly with their archers. Um, yeah, I, be I believe we can do this. Let's fight them. I'll take on these odds. King Offa is not afraid of these barbarians, these heathens. Or, actually, <laughs> Wales was probably Christian at this time, but whatever. We'll check. Either way, the uh, the Welsh shall die today. All right. Nowhere's really giving us much of an advantage in height, so I guess we'll just deploy here. Now, as you can see, our units are quite diminished, um, especially on this flank. That's a bit dangerous. We will keep our cavalry back here. Oh, our line of elite infantry will keep. He nope. No, no, no. I meant these three units, not the archers. Thank you. Uh, and King Offa will observe from the rear. Here we go. Alright, shield or spear wall, whatever. Same difference. Alright. So we actually outnumber them by... Oh, never mind. There we go. <laughs> now, they're, now they outnumber us. Uh, I believe they're just getting such a big advantage because of the fact that they have so much cavalry. Um, but if we play it right and they don't charge into certain spots, um, I believe their cavalry will be very, uh, kind of useless. Now, actually, you know what? I have the advantage of infantry, so it doesn't quite matter if I lose so much. So I'm going to let them focus on my, uh, on my spears so that then I can target some of their better units with my archers because they'll bring them in closer. So I'm going to put these guys on, uh, flaming shot. So that when the enemy charges their cavalry in, and you know they will, it's the AI, let's be honest, um, I'll be able to do some real damage to them before they get into combat. So these guys are, of course, upset that we killed off their uh, their ally, the uh, the Pawas, or whatever. 
they are seeking revenge on the Mercians. But they shall not have it this day. We shall wipe them out. So is this their king? I'm not quite sure. His name is Caradog. Not a very noble name. But who am I to judge? We shall see his uh we shall see his abilities on the battlefield. Alright, so I'm kind of at an awkward angle with them, so I'm actually going to angle myself better with them. We'll go back into spear wall. Or whoops. There we go. Alright. Here they come. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. They've started firing. We're going to get these guys going around here. And we'll also get a unit of cavalry to help out. Oh, these guys aren't firing for some reason. Not sure why, but okay. Alright, they're starting to send in their infantry. There we go. Okay, we're going to help out here. Once we crush their cavalry, we should be fine. There we go. Alright, we're gonna get him. Okay, so you turn this way. Good, good. You can see we're starting to kill their cavalry quite a bit. Nice, excellent. Uh, you start shooting at their general. Same to you. And there we go, we've broken this unit on the side already. Alright, so these guys are gonna start flanking around. Attack there. Probably shouldn't have charged in so quickly with my... Oh, my general isn't in the fight. Never mind. He will be soon. But uh, not quite yet. Alright. Once those guys are broken, we will move on. Oh, they're getting ready to charge in. Yeah, look at that. They've broken right through my center. That's not good. Not good at all. We'll shoot at that general. Alright, we need to get our infantry back over here. Um, these cavalry start charging at the enemy archers. Uh, and soon enough, these guys will be able to attack the enemy archers as well. There we go. On you go. Alright, we're going to get this guy, our general, our king, into this fight. So this guy is going to chase after them. They're going to chase there. This unit of levies is going to be screwed. Oh no, look at that. They've attacked me. Shoot them. All right, so the mix of our king and uh, these two units should make short work of these levy spearmen. Um, there we go. Good, good. We've killed them. All right, continue shooting at the enemy general. Take him down. Excellent. Of course, they're shooting at me while in combat, but that's fine. Uh, soon enough, the enemy general is going to be dead, and we've overpowered their infantry, so that's good. Yes, I know, I'm being very reckless with my cavalry. Um, all you people getting ready to type your comments saying that I'm an idiot about how I'm using my cavalry. I know, but I'm just trying to keep the archers from shooting at my infantry as much as possible. And there we go. We actually killed the enemy general. Yeah, we've lost that unit of cav. Alright, run away. I need you to be alive so that you can continue to chase them down. So don't get caught by those spears, please. That would be very bad. All right, but now uh, the my general, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get him to run back, and then we'll uh, we'll start chasing these archers with our other units. Uh, everybody's starting to waver now, anyway. So another glorious victory for Offa, the one true king of England, and he shall become king of England. Of course, if he dies, that'd be a bit of a shame, but. He will become king of England, if I have any, anything to say about it. All right, these guys are going to go after them. Of course, they're drifting over right into the spears, which I don't want to happen, but, you know. All right, and we'll just continue the chase. There we go. Uh, these guys, they have 23 men. There we go, they shattered. Excellent. Excellent. Run. Run from the scary spears. Oh, of course. They're just dying instantly anyway. Oh, they actually shattered that unit. All right. 
get into combat with the spears, stop them from chasing my cav. All right, I guess that sort of works. All right, good. A victory against the Kingdom of Gwynedd. Let's see if I can chase down that Welsh archer unit with my cav. Hopefully they could at least kill a few of them. But I'm not quite sure they'll be able to kill that many with just 17 men. But who knows. Also, oh, that unit would be nice to get rid of too. A few hundred men would be nice to kill. So you can see that we lost over 400 again, which isn't good. Uh, but mo it was mostly our feared spearmen, so eh, it could have been worse. It could have been our swords. The units that actually matter quite a bit. But you can see we're doing a bit of damage to this archery unit. They are going down quite quickly. Alright, let's see if we can get a few more from this unit. Come on, go, go, go. Don't stop. Alright, there we go. Let's get a few of them. Come on. There we go. We killed a few dozen. Ah, that's good enough. Alright. A heroic victory, apparently. Oh boy. Alright, I don't know what was so heroic about that, but... Alright, I'll take it. King Offa has a heroic victory under his belt, apparently. I'll take it. So, of course, we didn't take the town. Uh, the garrison was destroyed, but much of this army still remains. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, now we can bring in the second army and take it no problem. So our enemy was killed in battle, our war weariness was decreased, but we're still suffering from a bit of a famine. And uh, famines are not good. Um, so of course Chester, I don't believe, has a garrison anymore. Oh, they have a ship. Alright. Oh, we could, actually, we could actually take the town just with that. But I believe I'm going to march this army across. They are going to attack. We're going to take it. There we go. Alright. Excellent. We didn't even lose that unit of cavalry either, which is quite good. Alright, so now this army is also going to go take Degenwe. Degen? I don't know. However it's pronounced. Excellent. Uh, no subjugation for you. We are taking you out. Excellent. So the place is quite upset, of course, um, but they shall be all right. Um, so we're going to repair this and repair that, if that's all we have money for. Nope, we can repair this. And well, might as well try to repair everything. There we go. So once we repair everything, we'll get all of our, all of our food back, which will be nice, of course. Um, does our king have all of his things? It doesn't say it's doing anything, apparently. Let's see. Let's get that. Why not? And uh, let's get this guy loaded up as well. Yeah, definitely the 20. Um, more authority, sure. Oh, so it... Okay. Ah, whatever. Wait, did it say govern province? Yeah, he's not a governor, so... Alright. Okay. So, a good start. Um, honestly, I think our next war will be with... Uh, Gluising? Gluising? Something like that. Um, hey, we're actually replenishing now, though, even though we have negative food. That makes sense, I guess. Alright, oh, and we also got our new, uh, our new barracks. Let's, like, take a look at that. So we can get, uh, Thane's spearmen, Thane's long axes, crossbowmen. Oh, of course, I forgot to mention, um, I am using the Sirius PT Age of Charlemagne unit pack mod, um, description, or description, uh, link to that will be in the description down below. Be sure to check that out. It adds a bunch of units to Age of Charlemagne, uh, I believe at the current uh, 
version. It's at 72 additional units to Age of Charlemagne, so be sure to check that out. Um, I even did a video on it not too long ago, so yeah, if you're looking for more variety in your campaigns, be sure to watch that. So any or watch it. Be sure to download it, I mean. So yes, let's get to doing this. So none of those really affect him. Uh, we could do that. And, well, sure. Just in case he ever gets attacked. But yes, be sure to download that mod if you want more variety in your campaigns. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, of course, work on controlling whales. So we're going to take out uh, these guys. All they have is a village, so they don't even have a, an actual city. Uh, and, of course, King Offa will be tasked with that. Um, if I moved out of here, how mad would they be? Oh, I might actually be able to just move on. Excellent. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep marching. Oh, never mind. Never mind, that changed real quick. All right. Well, either way, um, oh. There you go, that's been fixed a bit. All right, so... He will, of course, recruit some new units. Let's get some cavalry, new unit of archers, new unit of spears, and then we'll be able to take care of it, basically. Um, oh, yes, all that uh, Wessex owns is Winchester, so we should even be able to take them on very quickly, and then we'll be able to wipe out Northumbria. Now, Northumbria has moved and taken Scone, which isn't cool. The more they expand, the harder it is for me to actually fight them. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. Oh, London has a disease outbreak. Lovely. I may need to convert this to a uh, fishing port. Or, well, I guess we could get a... Um... Let's see. What are some buildings we can build here? Are the sanitation buildings a capital or village building? capital with the hospice yes but of course we need a minister or cathedral there or minster rather whatever all right we're just gonna end the turn and yes next turn even we could probably invade um their lands how big is my army now 16 units uh can we hop the border a little bit and see what's going on yeah, we could attack that now. Uh, Carewind is defended by how much? Three units. Yep. Let's do it. Are they allied with anybody? Nope. Alright. Say goodbye to your lands. Yeah, they just have a bunch of levy spears. So we'll, we'll continue the siege there. Now everybody's pissed off. Great. Um... That's a decent amount of money. Let's see. Corruption is m negative 9. The corruption here is also negative 9. Interesting. Alright. So what is the main problem for uh, for being upset here? Instability? Alright. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, taxes, difficulty. Yep. What about you? No. Oh. Alright, apparently there isn't that many reasons that you're upset. Um, so I would, I would, I would build a chapel. There we go. Goodness. But, um, I honestly don't think that that's what we should do. I think we should make something, uh, I think we should try to make some money. But it, there doesn't seem to be that many things to make money. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Well, rather, let's build another farm because that's a big chunk of change right for us. Um, and, of course, we will continue that siege. Let's just end a turn. See what everybody gets up to. So by the time that I'm ready to take on Northumbria, I believe that they'll own all of the north. They may declare war on me before I'm ready. That's very possible. The kingdom of Uled has been destroyed in Ireland. Oh, the disease spread. Great. I'd like to know how it spread from there to there, but okay. That's fine. Oh, oh, this 
This last has leveled up. That's good. Um, you don't really need to spread religion, so you go ahead and make everybody happier. So there we go. That's just zero. It's just flattened out. That's good. Um, we're going to take a spot of attrition here now, which kind of sucks. But uh, it shouldn't be that much compared to how much they're going to take. All right, so we're going to continue uh, ending the turn. Actually, we could even go ahead and upgrade that. We might as well make some more money. And this guy has leveled up a governor. Anything showing up for you? Nope. All right, end the turn. They may even attack me. That would be interesting. Oh, they have. <laughs> Called it. All right, so they're getting a little bit of reinforcement coming in. Um, but honestly, we should be okay. Yes, I have lost quite a bit of cavalry. But uh, this army should be more than enough to take on uh, this rabble. Let's do it. So, lots of battles this episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you are, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. I know I said that earlier, but I'm serious. Do it. Please. I beg you. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, seriously, uh, this is pretty good. Three, three, uh, three played out battles in a premiere is pretty good. I think it was a, this is a good sign. I think this is a good choice, this Mercian campaign. But yeah, alright, so they're going to be attacking from the sea, so we may as well just make everybody's lives easier by deploying down there. Near the sea, that is. And yeah, we're going to get a cav back here. Offa is going to lead back here. There we go. Now, the funny thing is, I could kind of rush right ahead and just take them out. But, nah. Are they even coming for me yet? Or are they... Oh, yes, indeed they are. Interesting. Alright, fine. Let's march forward then. Now, of course, we do have to remember that there are going to be uh, enemy units coming from the sea. I think I believe it's only two ships, though. Uh, Tello Marines and Spear Boatmen. Nothing really to be too worried about. These units may be a little bit dangerous, but I don't believe they should be too much for us. I wouldn't imagine. So yeah, we'll wait for everybody to show up. Now honestly, what I could even do is um, I could get uh, these two units to actually fight them and then build up the rest. Build up? What am I talking about? I could uh, line up the rest to deal with uh, these these guys that are coming up here right now. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll take them on. Alright, get everybody there, then we'll get into the classic shield wall. There's our reinforcements coming in from over there. So they're actually quite far away. So they're actually, these guys are going to die before their reinforcements even get here. So that's good. Um, I'll, of course, get my cavalry moving, which I d forgot to move. So we'll get them going. Yeah, all of these so-called reinforcements are actually going to die before they even get a chance to fight. So, uh... Or, no, these reinforcements aren't going to get here when all these guys are dead, yeah. So that's good. That's good. These guys are going to be dead. These guys are already dying. <laughs> so, yeah, that should be good. Oh, have they, have they stopped or something? Oh, there they go. All right. So now our Cav are able to just charge right at them. Here we go. They've charged into the shield wall. We're actually going to get the charge on these guys. That's good, I guess. They're not in shield wall, so... Alright, we're going to get our archers to stop firing. Actually, we're going to get them to start firing over there. These guys are going to charge right into these archers. Ooh, hopefully their horses don't catch up with me. I'm actually only going to get one of these units here. The other two will get ready to attack those cav... Yeah, we may actually have to turn around if those cavalry don't stop. 
Alright, line back up. There we go. That's the garrison done. How am I not catching them? Come on. Good lord. Yeah, I'm going to have to run away now. Jesus. Archers are annoying. Alright. Alright, I'll leave the, the smallest unit in, in combat with them. The other two will run off. Maybe that'll be a nice trap. Alright, these units back off. Oh. Alright. Okay, they are charging them in the rear. That's fine. Oh, we actually did get rid of those archers. Alright, charge in, kill them. All that good stuff. We'll get our archers shooting at these cavalry. Hopefully bring them down quickly. There we go. We'll take out this unit. Ah, oh, that's actually their general. Interesting. Yes, be sure to kill him. Alright, so all my archers can actually start firing at that unit, not these guys. As they are getting their asses kicked. There we go. The enemy general is dead. Excellent. They won't much like that. Alright, get over here. So I didn't even end up losing any of my uh, cavalry, so that's good. How have none of these guys died yet? Interesting. Am I really going to have to engage even more for them? Yeah, like I have three units of archers firing at these guys and they're not dying. Oh, apparently I spoke too soon. Oh, there it's your two cavalry already. Oh, so are mine. Never mind. Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, no. Oh, these guys are kicking my ass, though. Oh, one unit is. All right. Never mind. All right, there we go. Go ahead and charge these guys in. Hopefully... They can kill them, or at least make them rout. And then we'll be able to form up for the final battle. Alright. So Glisten Wing, or Sing, Glisso Sing, Lewis Sing, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. I'm not Welsh, so I don't know, uh, I don't know what any of those, what any of those names are pronounced like, but, uh, either way, they are in a bad, bit of a bad spot now. We'll say. These guys are dropping slowly. Which is a bit of a bit annoying. But I believe that they should break soon. Or at least I would hope so. For love of God. Only shaken. Alright, I'm going to have to get you guys out of here. You guys charge in. Well, this is quite annoying. Oh, what are these? Oh. Swordsmen have been there the whole time. They could have actually did something. Oh, yes. Cavalry run right into them. That's exactly what I wanted. Crap. Yeah, these guys are badass, apparently. They're tier 3. Holy cow. Oh, there's Attila with the weird charge thing where if you click it, it breaks the charge. Alright, so they are of course coming for us. It's a bit dangerous. We only have a little, we only have a few more men than them. It's definitely not great. But their general is dead already, so that is good. How have these guys not died? Come on, break! This is ridiculous. There we go. Thank you. Alright, let's start freaking these guys out, I guess. Yes, thank you for finally dying. Alright. Start advancing. I actually lost one of my sword units. That kind of sucks. 
All right, let's take these guys out. All right, we're going to have to uh, take the brunt with these guys. Oop. Shield wall, flank. We'll do the same thing here. Oh, or not. Alright. Oh, Afa is being shot at. Which isn't fun. Alright, let's get the cab going. Alright, Afa is needed at the front. Alright, let's do this. This unit's gonna go after here. Oh, we got men wavering. That's not good. Alright, good. There's the archers are running off. Then they won't be doing so much damage to Afa. That's what I want. Just leave Afa alone. Alright, so we've started to catch them. Which is good. These guys are wavering. There we go. They're shattered. Alright. So this should be good. They're starting to die quite rapidly. Oh, I don't know why you guys are there. But okay. Good. All the infantry is dead. There we go. The day is ours. Excellent. So we will have to uh, auto-resolve next turn, probably, to finish these guys off. But, for the most part, yeah, we uh, we took them out. There we go. So we'll speed this up. And uh, I'll try to kill as many of them as I can. Hopefully. Oh, that unit's just getting melted. That's good. Alright, that unit is fine. Um... 19, that is a unit that will survive. We'll kill them all. 6, 4, 4, 3, oh, 31. Crap. That fleet's going to survive. Alright, get that unit of 38, and then I say, oh, nope, never mind, I was going to say we call it a day, but nope. Got to get those guys, too. Alright, let's speed this up, though, because uh, the episode is almost over. catch those guys you guys catch these guys there we go that should be fine that'll be enough for me all right so we took them out and they're dead all right so they got away whatever decisive victory nothing but victories all around 113 men survived so uh, i think we're safe Excellent. And I lost maybe two units. Might have lost those swords. I probably did. I lost one of those spear units, probably. We'll see. Oh! Did this actually count as me winning? And I didn't lose either units. Nice. Alright, it didn't count as a victory. Okay. Oh, it's because I destroyed their... Uh... Nope. Northumbria, you are not becoming my friend. But, uh, yeah. Oh, hello. I'm gonna take my influ influence away, I guess. Okay, let's get more movement range, because, of course, we will be continuing the war. Or, we will be starting the war, rather. Against, uh... Northumbria soon, so we'll have to march quite rapidly. So we may lose a couple of units here. Oh, we actually only lost one, uh, Spearman unit. So that's fine. Let's occupy. And there we go. The Welsh have been wiped out as fast as that. Alright, so the squalor here is actually... Oh, actually, if we fixed it, it would be fine. Alright, never mind, I'll keep it then. Perfect, so that's two provinces completely under our control. How nice. Alright, so... Um, when I get the money, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to a minster. Because, well, why not? 
Uh, we're going to get her punishment and integrity. And there we go. Wales is under our control. Oh, hello. Ah. King Keenwolf? Kind of wolf? I don't know. Interesting. If that's all they have, um, <laughs> Wessex, you're going down. Uh, but anyway, let's recruit a couple of units to replace the lost. Replace the fallen. Right. That should be good enough. And let's, uh, yeah, let's go for Witten. Let's go for the Witten. Because that is one of our objectives, of course. Excellent. So yeah, our next target is um, Wessex, of course. So uh, soon enough we'll attack them. We could even probably attack them after a couple of turns of replenishing, really. You know what? Honestly, let's just merge these guys. Get rid of some of these beat-up units. And let's get a, an extra one. There we go. It'll be more worth it. So there we go. Uh, we'll end the turn. And we'll check to see how everything's going after this. After we have everything repaired. Um, all the provinces united. All that good stuff. So of course our plans might be muddled uh, because of the Irish. I'm not quite sure. Um, they might do anything. Oh, hello. My lord, your man Alcuin of York faces a crisis of loyalty. He has been approached by the Frankish king Charlemagne and invited to take place at his court. Alcuin, as you surely know, is one of the finest minds in the realm and a great boon to your court. He had the opportunity to appeals greatly to Alcuin, who feels he cannot refuse the chance to work with the greatest brains in the known world. He bequeaths you to allow him to leave. Sure, let's let him go, I guess. I might regret that, I'm not sure. But yeah, anyway. So we're going to have another turn of recruitment. And uh, yeah, then we're going to attack Wessex. Might as well. Yeah, we really need to deal with this. Um, next turn we should have enough money to do that. And uh, yeah, so let's quickly do that. I want to do that. I want to finish that this turn. Let's do it. Or this turn, this episode. We have a few minutes. Um, we should be able to either wipe out Wessex's, Wessex's army or uh, lay siege to them at least. Uh, the kingdom of Leinster has been destroyed. All right. So yeah, we're going to start the march on Wessex. Right. They've occupied there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start upgrading that. Right, quickly, another turn. <laughs> We're going to lay siege to Winchester. I know I'm probably a bit quick, but um, the faster we can take the south of England, the faster we can get to wiping out Northumbria, and they're our true adversary, of course. Um, they're actually going to be quite strong. Oh, look at this. The scholars who remain watching Alcuin leave are clearly and obviously angry at your decision to simply let a, allow him to go without so much as an argument. The dissatisfaction will bear itself out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. More fertility. All right. Well, I, I'll live with it. Anyway. Goodbye, Wessex. Nice knowing you. You won't be the last kingdom anymore. It actually... That actually does something? Weird. Anyway. Lay siege to that. And yeah, we're building that. All right, so you might as well upgrade that, get more money. And yeah, that's the first episode of the Mercian campaign, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, this is going to be a great campaign, I can already tell. Uh, I had a lot of fun recording this first episode. It was actually very well, uh, very well. It actually went very well. Um, you can see that we expanded from, of course, Mercia and our one holding in Wessex um, to actually taking Wales and besieging Winchester, so... Um, we're basically going to own all of this by the beginning of next episode, and who knows, um, Kent is starting to hate us, so uh, we'll probably just end up wiping them out, and then we can focus on Northumbria, and yeah, oh, look at this, a faction has already called, been, uh, become the Kingdom of the Picts, interesting, very interesting, or was that already a thing, is that supposed to be a faction that's already there? I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. 
Um, this has been Overkill as always. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below as always. And if you're enjoying, well, if you're looking forward to the series, uh, be make sure you're subscribed because it's going to be coming out every couple of days. This has been Overkill as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.